Okay. Hello again. Uh, I ran this for about three and a half, four hours last night. And uh, I turned it off because I didn't want to go to bed with it running. Which it probably could have ran all night, but uh, I had to, uh, if something fell off or short circuited it and the battery blew up and then I have a fire in the garage. I didn't want to cause that, but so I got about three and a half, four hours. And I wanted to see how much voltage dropped from yesterday. On the battery, I started like with 12.34. And when I turned it off, it was down to like 10.40 or so. I can't remember what the last video was. Uh, but I just wanted to show this real quick. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Let me get spinning the right way. This way it goes faster. Oops. There we go. Still hauling ass, as you can hear. John, I'm sure you were quite familiar with that sound for a long time. So I'm going to turn this to... Four volts. I don't know why it's reading 22. It's just on the negative there. There it goes. And now it went back up to... 11.69 56, it'll probably drop pretty quick you can hear it but it's still going very very fast as you can see it'll probably drop steady till it gets back down to that 10.4 The interesting thing is, and one thing, uh, John, if you watch this, John Aarons, um, the back EMF, I can't get to the 12.58 that you've gotten off the back end charge. Uh, I don't know if it's the coil I'm using. I think this is a very efficient motor because it, it is hauling butt. But maybe my coil isn't as efficient because you are using a solid iron coil with uh, a lot of wrapping. Uh, you got a very thick coil. If that makes a difference, please let me know. Are you supposed to be done? Yeah, no, I haven't. I want it done before you start your shirt. Uh, Alright. Hurry up. Yes. There goes Mr. Stud. Hi, Mr. Stud. Well, here we are again. <clears throat> uh, what I did was I switched batteries. So the motor is actually working on the new battery I got. And this went down to 10.4 volts again. And now I switched batteries. And I put the back EMF bridge rectifier up to the battery that was running the pulse motor for the last couple of days. So we will see what happens. Funny thing is, that sucker was down to. Well, I'm going to try to hold this camera here so you can see it. It was down to 10.4 volts. And I had this thing running maybe five minutes before I turned on the camera. And this is from the back EMF charge. And the sucker's going from... Uh, it's already up to 12.4. Uh, 4037 which I don't understand that since I put the voltage uh, straight from the bridge rectifier <clears throat> on the machine and it was bounced around between 10 9 and 10 volts 
and this battery was down to 10.4 volts and all of a sudden it's up over all right hello again I left this running yesterday from 5.30 in the evening till 11.30 at night with the <clears throat> back EMF off the bridge going to the battery I was running it on two days ago. So I'm going to check the voltage on the battery I was charging. Oops, hold on a second. Let me lock this into place here. And now it's at 12.42 with no load on it. Okay. 12.41, 12.42 volts with no load. When I started charging it with a load of the pulse motor, it was 10.44. So, what I'm going to do is put this back and put a load of the pulse motor back on. Test it. It was running for six hours yesterday. Oops, where'd my lead go? There we go. Okay. You can see it's going very fast. You can hear it with the clicking of the you light? Okay. And now what we're going to do is test it with the load on it. I'm going to let it run. You can see it's dropping pretty quick. I'm going to let it run for about 30 minutes and we'll go from there. Up and at an hour of run time. After charging it with the back EMF for about six hours. And then back down to the Now, now it's down to 12, uh, 10 point three. Let me suggest that I add more coils. I'll try to do that next. I do have a smaller 20 gauge coil ready to go. Somewhere around here. There it is. So I'm going to attach that and see if I can get more efficiency out of the motor. More back EMF voltage, charging voltage. Anyway, that's it for now.